Me, I'm Isaac Takawada, one of the artists at uh, Kenyan Patterson Club Center. We've been here since time, uh, working as a cooperative with other guys, sharing ideas and the like. One more, the one most good thing working as a cooperative is to share ideas, skills, everything, it's teamwork. And um, is the government supportive, like in terms of you know supporting this craft center, a visual art? Ah, not yet from the government, but otherwise we do a lot of uh, pieces which are being bought by the, you know, by the uh, presidential office, where gifts, where whenever they would go out to, to meet other presidents out there, they come and buy their pieces from here. So it's one of the best things we can thank to the government. And uh, locally, is uh, visual art appreciated in terms of sculpture? Do, are there any local buyers? Local buyers here yeah, these days now are very fine to find, are very difficult to find because uh, we used to deal with the foreigners. But now the people are just coming to buy these things and just for small prices, bro, just to make up their life, going to South Africa, Victoria Falls, you no, know, just to small markets. And uh, would you encourage I mean, young youngsters to get into visual art? Yes, I do encourage you. Me, I, me, I started this uh, at the age of, uh, I was uh, at uh, form, one, uh, form 1 level, that was 1987 when I started this. Until now, I haven't gone into work. This is my profession. I've even been in the United States uh, during, during this uh, kind of work. 2014, I received the United States, four states in America. So I encourage these young guys, it's not that you work and get money, you have to use your hands to get money. Is there anything else that is an artist that you just love to say? You know, just anything that probably you'd want to tell the people? Yes, there is life in art. It's only that these days it's only about the recession of, uh, you know, the worldwide things are not, uh, you know, moving like uh, well. But other there's life in art. You have to put your mind, everybody is talented. So you have to show your talent to the world. And you go through any formal school of art? Not, no, 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 not exactly. But otherwise, I started as a, as a junior to my brother. My brother was a founder in our family. So I started with Scott in 1972 when I was born. And I was inspired by him and some uncles. And then I get used to the art. Their names? I, 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 did, I did work at uh, Chapungo Gallery in Masasa. It was one of the largest gallery in Africa. It has closed now to do some stances. This was one of the best training uh, center for stone sculpture in Zimbabwe. And your brother, your family, like your family name, you said inspired by your brother. Uh, what's his name and like the line of you know, sculptures in your family? Yes, uh, it's like I was born in a, eight of, in, in a family of eight boys. I'm the seventh one. The first brother was Pesim Keda, he was doing some sculpturing. And me, I took up the, the, the sculpturing school from him. And the rest of the guys were doing their work uh, you know, in industrial workshops. And what inspires you? Like uh, the kind of work that you do, uh, themes? What, what are some of the themes and the inspiration? Ah, okay, the inspiration is like uh, my brother I used to work on a creation, creative artist. He was a creative, creative artist. So I got, in, I, got, I got interested in that creative art. You see, it's created with a creative art. You have to create something, then you get you get you have the meaning in that. You have to explain in that. And you work on a fine art, fine art like an elephant. Everybody knows an elephant. Then, then on, on creative, you have to explain and uh, make the buyer interested in the piece. 